scientific discovery, scientific advancement is one of the most important things that our species has done. If one wants to create a legacy, working together to do science is, is a great way to do it. And we're here at the Center for Genome Architecture, where we study how genomes fold inside of cells. Understanding the architecture of a genome, understanding the loop structure could be a key to understanding how the genome works. So folding and function are thought to be deeply intertwined. He's studying basically the physical architecture of the genome. How do you physically fit more than six feet of DNA into the nucleus, which is on average five to 20 microns in size? In the 1D sequence of the genome, where I have 100 million letters on a chromosome, there were some bits of DNA that could be very, very far from a gene, and yet they seem to have the ability to control whether that gene turned on or off. In 3D, maybe they come together, and the chromosome actually would, would bend backward into a loop. If you can understand how the basic cell functions, we have an insight into all elements of life. If you could create a technology that maps all of these loops, that's the wiring diagram that tells you, oh, this switch can control this gene. And we could tell a cell, you become a liver, become a kidney. We will soon get to a point where not only do we know where the switches are in any given cell, but we know which switches are connected to which genes. One of the exciting things about him as a scientist, he is one of the most out of the box thinkers I've met. It's just very hard to see what's going on inside of cells. My lab has focused on making that kind of camera and taking pictures of a genome folded inside the nucleus. We are able to get really, really close. You really get to see how, how the genome's interacting with itself. Today, we can do things that would have been unfathomable only a few years ago, much less at, at the outset of this effort. He uses genetics and computation and physics and all of these different specialties to tackle these big questions. I love genome architecture. I love human genetics. This lab has honestly, uh, you know, changed my life. You know, the opportunity to work on hard problems and to make, make some progress on hard problems and to make people's lives better. That's the name of the game in science.